Hello and welcome back everybody. The summer has most definitely finished here in the Dordogne. We've got a lot of rainfall lately and the days are getting so grey and of course much much shorter. The garden is looking so sad and neglected now with the changing of the season. Uh, we had grown quite a lot of tomatoes this year, so we were able to make a lot of tomato sauce. Um, but other than that, we didn't really grow a lot this year. We didn't have much time to give over to the garden because the driveway took up a lot of our time working on the driveway and, uh, and doing little projects around the house as well. But um, we're glad that we were able to order our wood and uh, the, the winter has really rolled in very, very quickly. The autumn winter season rolled in quite abruptly and the temperatures changed quite suddenly. But um, we feel prepared for it. We feel ready for the, the cold months ahead. We've got a good stock of wood uh, ready to go. I was able to grow a few herbs uh, in the little herb garden that I had planned that is just beneath the kitchen window. Um, we have we had basil and we had thyme and parsley and the lavender really took off as well. But um, I wasn't able to to give over as much time as I wanted to it. So that'll be um, more project for next year. Um, now it's really getting cold. So most of the projects I'll be doing in the months to come will be in the house. As you can see, the driveway is done. And in this video, I wanted to revisit, do a little update on a tour of our kitchen. Uh, I know I did a little tour before, but I wanted to do it more in depth. So I thought we'd start again by looking at what the kitchen looked like when we bought the house. The kitchen was the worst room in the house. When we bought this house, this kitchen was filthy. It was smoke stained from the ceiling down to the floor. The floorboards were completely rotten. Uh, it was just utterly, utterly neglected. We had such a lot of work to do on this room to bring it up to the standards that we wanted it at. Uh, I don't know how anybody lived in this kitchen, to be honest. But um, if you want to look back through the playlist of our renovation, you can see all the work that we did on this room uh, to, to transform it into the beautiful space that it is today. This room is my absolute favorite room in the house. I, I just love being in here. Every time I walk through the door, um, I'm reminded of how our hard work paid off and just what we're capable of achieving. Um, this really was a space where I was able to use my cre creativity to, to its full potential. And there was so much scope for having to be imaginative because it's quite a small room and uh, we had quite a lot of things that we wanted to fit into this room to make it fully functional. We both love cooking and baking, we both love doing preserves. So this room is really important, it has to be functional, um, but it also has to be a, a really pleasant place to be because it has to be inspiring, it has to make us want to do those things. So uh, it does, this room makes me want to cook, it makes me want to, to try new recipes and it makes me want to spend time here and, and be creative here. So just for the different decorative elements that are in the room, a lot of it is furniture that was already here that uh, I, I sanded down and I painted, I changed handles, like the, the dresser here behind the door, that was already in this room, but it was just a, a, um, a stained wood uh, finish. And the table was something we found on Facebook Marketplace. We used to have caned chairs, uh, those old traditional French chairs, but I swapped those out. We both uh, chose these chairs together, uh, Nicolas and I. And although they're modern, I think they work well in the space. They're very easy to clean. They're so comfortable and they're discreet enough not to um, draw attention away from the old world feeling that is in this room. 
uh, so I'm really really happy with them and it's great to sit beside the window and be able to look out um, onto our front yard. The fireplace is definitely the focal point in this room. You see it as soon as you walk into the room. Um, it's right there and it's very imposing and I absolutely love it. There's still some finishing touches to be done uh, in, in the whole room, to be honest. There's uh, little things that we still need to do, like uh, replacing the, the brickwork on this, the bottom of the fireplace on, on the floor and the skirtings to be added as well to the, the cupboards, things like that. But uh, this um, cross, or what do you call it, cross, cross stitch, I think it's what it's called. I found this in our local charity shop. I got it for five euro. I just um, painted the frame with the gold wax, but um, it's really beautiful. And there are a lot of deer around where we live. So um, it's, it's very representative of the nature that is around the house. So um, little things that we've chosen. We had to replace the fridge because I made a mistake when I um, measured out the kitchen. I forgot to allow space for the door to open. So we had to change the fridge, but it worked out really well because we found this beautiful little fridge uh, that's very old style as well. And that goes really well with um, with the style of the kitchen as well. So I was delighted with that. And uh, it's just a great place to add little personalized touches like this hook. I got this in Hautefort Castle. Uh, I did a video about that actually, and I picked that up in the gift shop. Um, these doors we made ourselves, they're very plain, but I wanted to uh, do something plain so that I can embellish them with wood mouldings and things like that. So that's a project that I'll be doing in the future as well. I did a video about that island table as well and the little basket that I made beneath it. Um, I'll, I'll put a, a link to that as well in this video. This wall mounted unit I found in our local charity shop as well. It was just plain uh, varnished wood. Um, so I sanded it down and I painted it the, uh, the same colors that are in the kitchen, uh, the same color. It's a kind of a blue gray. Um, and I'm planning to use that as my apothecary. I love to, to dry plants and, and make teas and things like that. So I have to find containers that are all the same um, so that I can stack all my teas on this uh, wall shelf. I think that'll look really, really good. I want to add more shelves as well. I picked a small one up at a local, um, it was in our local market actually, uh, in our village, and I want to put that up over the, the coffee machine and put all the coffees and stuff up there uh, to free up some space on the countertop. But um, this room is, is quite small, but uh, everything that's in it works, it's functional. Like this uh, sink unit, we actually made this out of the old farmhouse table that was in the room when we bought the house. I did a video about that as well, so I'll put a link to that also. Um, but uh, there's lots of little things that are reminiscent of the history of this house, even over the door, this uh, decorative feature I found that in one of our, um, it was in the barn and it must have belonged to an old wardrobe, I think, but it was exactly the right uh, size for over the door. I didn't have to trim it down or anything. It was that size. So I just painted it the same color as the door and I did a video about that as well. So I might link that one as well. The gas cooker was um, a really important investment for us because we do so much cooking. So I'm delighted with that to have such a big oven and everything. And this little island table, um, I loved this table. It was here when we bought the house. I just sanded it down and waxed it. And that's, uh, that's where I prepare all our meals and all my baking, everything I do on that table. Um, so it's, it's really important. This piece of artwork I made myself, it's a, a heron. I absolutely love herons. I, I have a real bond with them. I find them really magical. So I try to add copper in as much as I can. I didn't do this roses when I found that in a charity shop. Um, and this other piece that I hung on the fireplace, I also found that in a local charity shop as well. But I, I'm a sucker for copper. I absolutely love it. Um, I especially love making art with it. So I'll be doing some projects in the future as well for our home. Um, and I'll share that with you as soon as I do that. So uh, the, the, the weather has gotten so cold. It's been lovely to light the fire again. And um, I just love this fireplace. It's, it had such, uh, such charm and such warmth 
to the space. It's lovely to sit in here of an evening with the fire crackling over there and just uh, read a book or, or do some nice cooking project. I love it. Mantelpieces are such a great uh, scope for, for decoration. You just change out the ornaments that are up there. I'm looking forward to decorating the mantelpiece for Christmas as well. This is the built-in that we created. The shelves are made out of an old uh, dining room table that we used to have. Um, and then I, we just, I just put some wallpaper in the back, but it's perfect to keep the cookbooks on and, uh, and do some decorating as well, which is always welcome. So I hope you enjoyed our little tour. I'm planning to do a tour for each room in the house. I think it's easier just to break it down that way. So um, have a wonderful week and I look forward to seeing you in the next video.